Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be doing a quick review of the Extreme Z Awakening of the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. I know I already did a little bit of a video on this, but we have more information. So, as always, I always want to make sure I keep you guys up to date with everything that's going on. First out, shout out to dbz.space. This is jpn.dbz.space for the Japanese version. I'm um, using this information over here, at least just for the pictures, because this is what's being displayed in-game. So, uh, let's go over here. koala -san has gone and did a full breakdown of the event this is an update to his older post i believe um, or he just resubmitted it as a new post regardless this is about the extremes the awakening for super saiyan 3 goku and there's a lot more information so the date dates starts on november 20th which is today so i'll be doing a gameplay video for you at tonight uh, i gotta go to work and everything i gotta render this video so i'm not gonna be able to get that done for you today uh, if i can even do it so, uh, note, this event says that you can only challenge it if you are rank 100 and above, but at the bottom of this event, it says that even players that are rank 100 or lower can do this event. So, we don't know, I don't know what the heck that means. Um, <laughs> I'm assuming that means it, it's probably better if you rank 100 or above. It's suggesting that you should be a rank 100 or above, uh, but if you are rank 100 or lower, you could still attempt it. But if you're rank 100 or lower, you're probably not going to be able to do it, or at least maybe not at the later rounds. Uh, extreme Z battle. The enemy will obtain new skills when you reach certain levels. And then you guys already know that because I went over that with you. You can check out the enemy skills in the battle info. You can't use support items and you can't use dragon stones for continuing. That that was kind of a, you know, I kind of figured that was going to be the case with this. Uh, it's usually either something like no support items or no dragon stones. I guess it also means that it's going to be a little bit easier for, you know, newer players because it does say you could start doing it at a level 100 and they recommend starting at a level 100. So like, OG players are probably going to be able to power right through the event up until it gets to a certain level. Event information, these characters will have an advantage against Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Extreme tech units. You will do more damage and receive less damage because of type advantage. So that's really awesome, makes sense. Uh, revive war Warrior category units will do extra damage against Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Will mitigate the damage reduction and attack up of skill of Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So you want the Revive Warriors, I actually don't have it up over here, so let's go over here, japan.dbz.space, forward slash cards, forward slash categories. And then we're going to go ahead and check out the Resurrection, is it going to auto-translate? It's not. So translate to English, which one, Divine Dimension, Magical Boo, Space Mix, Blow, <laughs> blow <laughs> I'm not going to say that one out loud. <laughs> um, Alright, where is my Revival? Resurrected Fighter, there we go, right in front of my face. Um, okay, so any of these units over here are going to be the units that you want to use. Uh, you're going to want to pick extreme types for this. So, like Cell, Frieza, Majin Buu. Uh, there's different versions of Majin Buu that you could actually bring up in here, so that's going to help you out. Evil, Demon King Piccolo, Old School Demon King Piccolo, Bojack, Korra, um, Frieza, a Mecha Frieza. Uh, so yeah, all these guys are the Bojack crew, but uh, these are the ones you want to bring try to bring the extreme tech ones Bo uh, bio brawly may come in handy here for some defensive purposes uh but yeah so uh let me know what you guys are running down below in the comments below uh, i don't really have an uh, optimal team for this i definitely don't have a lot of the category leads i just have the super saiyan 3 or super saiyan 4 goku for my only category i haven't token him yet so uh, i don't know but let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below so uh, main menu left button battle info middle button start battle Right button, you get the rewards. Right bottom button, level select. So you get to select different levels. Battle information. Now, each level, the, the, the enemy skill is going to change. So this displays enemy skill. Characters that have advantage when attacking. Characters that take advantage. Now, there's a lot of information here. Um, so I'm just going to try and sum it up. Uh, level 3, immune to defense down. And it's like every time he gains something, it sticks and something else is added towards the bottom. You know what I mean? So, like, immune to defense down. Everything after that is immune to defense down. So, reduced damage taken from STR, regardless of super extreme. That is going from level 4 down. So, it keeps on going. It keeps on getting something added. Sometimes it'll stay for, like, level 5, 6, and 7. It stays the same. He he's, uh, reduces damage from strength uh, and immune from defense down and stun. So, after level 5, he, he, he can't get stunned anymore. And it just goes down until more and more are added all the way down to the last level. If you want a full review of this, go over to the Reddit and check out the post. The title is going to be uh, JPN, Super Saiyan 3 Goku Extreme Z Battle In-Game Info, and this will this should pop up. It was or entered in seven hours ago on November 20th, so you can go ahead and check it out from there. Anyway, uh, checkpoints, level 5, level 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, possible drops, one bronze medal, two bronze medal, two, 
silver, four silver, four gold, four rainbow. You can extreme Z Awaken the agility Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which you can get from the Dokkan Fest Gacha after you get him to level 120 with the medals obtained from the extreme Z battle. So I, I got I got one already. Um, I don't have any dupes unlocked of him, so I might do that and then reverse Dokkan him. So that way I can uh, at least get a dupe path unlocked of him. I didn't do the Elder Kai. I'll, I'll do all this in the gameplay video tonight. Um, but then I, I haven't summoned on the Elder Kai's. I'll probably go and summon on the Elder Kai's, and then I'll probably, uh, um, you know, I, I might actually save those Elder Kai's for uh, future Super Saiyan 3 Barlock in case I do pull him. We'll see how that works out. Uh, agility, super, leader skill, passive skill, super attack when extreme Z awaken. You get, they're all better. Super Saiyan 3 Dokkan event will also be open during the same time as the Super Saiyan 3 Extreme Dokkan Battle event, which is really freaking awesome. <laughs> um, Extreme Z Awakening levels 1 through 7. Um, medals required 3 bronze, 5 bronze, 7 bronze for the first 3. Uh, max level character 125, 125, 130. Super attack 10, 11, 11. So after 4, start doing silver. 5 is silver. 6 is gold. You need 30 gold. And seven level up for Extreme Z Awakening seven is going to be thirty time Rainbow, which is going to probably be a pain in the butt. Um, on top of that, once you get to seventh Z Awakening, you can get up to level fifteen. Max character level is one forty, and that's when his passive skill changes. And once you get up to level of uh, Z Awakening five times, his leader ability becomes a seventy percent leader, and seven times is going to be his uh, passive skill. Which at the start of the turn, his own defense goes up by seventy percent, and from the start of the turn for seven turns his attack is up by 120%, so he's going to definitely be tanking a lot better, and that kind of goes along with the meta of the super um, super agility units uh, for tanking, because a lot of them do tank very well. Uh, voice line when extreme Z-Awakening, your, your energy level is amazing. I'm getting excited, or key level, however you want to say it. His super attack apparently changes. I don't know if that means the animation changes, but it, the, the name of it changes. Dragon Fist Extreme. So if it does change, we'll have to wait and see. I probably won't have gameplay myself because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get myself up to that. But uh, again, I'll let you know. I do have the Super Saiyan 3 Broly, so I might be able to do an extreme tech team at least. And he is, I think, part of the revival. Well, he's not part of the revival, but I should be able to run some revival units. Uh, immense damage lowers defense um, of the enemy greatly. Awesome. Rewards. You're going to receive bronze, silver, gold, or rainbow medals after clearing levels to awaken Super Saiyan 3 Goku until level 30. You will also receive one Dragon Stone for each level you clear for the first time. Also, depending on the level you cleared, you will receive Agility Potential Orbs and Agility Grand Kai. So that's really awesome. From level 31 onward, you will receive a Platinum Hercule Statue for each level that you clear. That's 2.5 million Zenny. So if you're looking for Zenny, that's a perfect way to grind it. First time clear reward. Um, now, apparently this was copied directly from the database. There's a whole bunch of awesome information. So you're definitely going to want to look at this and try and clear it as many times as you can. Uh, level 1, uh, well, one Dragonstone, obviously, one Bronze Medal, um, then 370 blue small orbs, uh, agility orbs, 270 uh, potential orbs, uh, medium orbs, that is, 20 blue large orbs, uh, 370 small, so it just keeps on going. It looks like it recycles the same numbers uh, throughout up until you get to stage 11. Um, then it goes 430 uh, blue small orbs, 330 blue medium orbs, and then 30 big blue orbs. That goes down to level stage 21, and you get 500 small, 400 medium, 40 blue, and then that goes until level 30. And level 30, when you clear, it looks like you get 500 small blue orbs, 400 medium, 40 big, 3-time agility SSR Grand Kai, um, and level 31 is when it starts with the platinum statues. So there's a whole bunch of cool stuff that you can get over here. I uh, definitely recommend grinding out. And since it's like there's so much stuff in here, I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to handle this without any problem. I mean, yes, he does get harder and harder to take on, but I feel like even with these restrictions, it's like, it's common sense. You want to bring extreme units if you could handle it. You're not going to bring a strength unit, so you don't have to worry about strength. Just make sure you don't bring agility or physical units or on, on your team if you could if you can handle it and go up against them. I feel like you should be fine. But again, we won't know until it's actually released. Um, once this is done, special missions. Apparently there are also special missions available for the event. Uh, Extreme Z Awaken, five characters, you get five Dragonstones. So, uh, obviously guys, we're going to have uh, more characters that come along with this. I really can't wait for the, the, the full power freeze just to see what the heck happens with him. Because he's already, essentially, what Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku is getting, other than his defensive buff. Super Saiyan 3, in, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku has Extreme Z Awakened into a full power freeze, essentially, with his abilities. <laughs> so, I can't wait to see what happens to him. Like, I, I, he already has immense damage, so they can't really change that. But they can change what his super attack does, you know, like, and it greatly lowers the enemy's attack, or greatly lowers the enemy's defense. 
and then um, his passive skill can go up to 150 or 170 times damage, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. <laughs> that would be awesome. Anyway, um, rewards for these are, are Z-Awaken 1 time, 30 time, yep, man, there's a lot of them in here. Uh, Z-Awaken 2, 4, 6, 7 times, the same, Z, the same character. So, A character on the same character 7 times, so... You're going to get the Z-Swords for getting your Super Saiyan 3 uh, Agility Goku all the way awakened uh, if you do that. Z-Swords are cool. They're just like... It's one of those situations that like back in the day they were freaking phenomenal. Now, yes, you want them for training up characters, but I guess newer players, you really need them because a lot of us older players have them just like stocked up in our boxes. Uh, beat three different Extreme Z-Battles, a level one stages. It's three Dragon Stones. An Extreme Z-Battle stage, two Dragon Stones. Extreme Z-Battle stage on level five or above. Silver Hercule statue, gold for 10 or above, platinum for 15 or above, SSR Elder Kai for 20 or above, and two time platinum Hercule statues for 25 or above, and 30 or above is five dragon stones. Special mission rewards clear the Super Saiyan 3 Extreme Z battle on level 10 or above within two minutes for one dragon stone, uh, level 20 within two minutes and 40 seconds for two dragon stones, and the Super Saiyan 3 Z battle on level 20 or above with a character that is part of the Revive Water ca Warrior category in your team for one dragon stone. All right, so awesome. Current known bugs, apparently. Uh, under certain conditions, you will drop down to level one if you lose. This is a visual bug, and restarting the app will fix the problem, okay? So don't freak out. Um, after reaching a certain level, the enemy details from the previous level will be displayed. These bugs will be solved in an upcoming version update. Um, interesting. So they're having some real problems over on the JP side with coding, huh? <laughs> um, but yeah, so these are all really doable, and because of the time that it's, it's saying to, take the, to actually clear it, and level 10 to clear it within two minutes, um, to me that means that they are going to, uh, this is going to be a really easy event. Uh, again, I don't know, I'll have to do some gameplay with you guys later, I may try it out, like, once before I come and do the gameplay videos with you guys, so don't be surprised if you see me, like, level 2, 3, or 4, or something like that. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Let me know how excited you are for this down in the comments below. Um, I do have the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, so I definitely plan on utilizing him. And because I plan on going for the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock when he comes out, hopefully I pull him. Um, I really want to get this guy taken care of. But anyway, guys, thanks for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.